Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. What a day to be alive in the presence of God. What a time to be alive in this day of the move of the Spirit. Father, we thank you for finding us worthy to be part of the participants of those whom you have chosen for this new day, for this day of your outpouring, for this day of the impressions of your spirit. We thank you. Our heart rejoice in the things that you have ordained and desired and designed for this season in time. Men of old have sought to see this day. Angels have searched and waited for this hour and this moment. We thank you that we are in the midst of one of the most significant seasons in human history. And you've called us, you've positioned our hearts to be part of this great move. Father, this morning, we open our hearts to you. We open our lives to you. We open our thoughts to you. Our intentions we open to you this morning. Everything that has to do with our life, we offer them this morning as a sacrifice on your altar. We lay down our lives, our guardedness. We lay down our thoughts, imaginations, our intellectual, our spirit, knowledge, abilities, everything. We lay them down on your altar this morning. The altar that have been rebuilt, that have been reconstructed, oh God, to the glory of your name. This morning, Father, we bring ourselves, I bring myself, I bring my home, my family. And everyone that you have joined, connected to my spiritual loins, I bring everyone. As your spirit once again begins to impress our hearts, yes, to the next dimension, to the next realities of your counsel for humanity. Father, we are available this morning. We are the Esthers of our day. We are the Abigails of our day. We are the Elizabeth of our day. We are the Jos Joshua. We are the Josephs of our day. We are the Josephs of our day. Yes, Father. We are the Daniels of our day. We thank you, Lord. We have offered ourselves to you. We want to be that conduit, that instrument, that company of men and women. Yes, that you have invested your grace into that will, yes, this morning and through the week and months and years to come to express your intentions in the earth. What an honor to be alive in times like this. We understand the significance of this new day. We understand the importance of where we are. We understand, oh God, yes, the sacredness of the day. And so, Father, we treat it as one. We move away, oh God, from distraction, from frivolous attitude. We move away from things that can lead us and, 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 and derail us from what, what you are doing in this season. Father, we... Help us, we, we pray that you help us once again to see, oh God, the significance, the importance, the holiness of this new day. Help us to treat this day, oh God, with sacredness, with a sense of truth and righteousness, oh God. That no matter what is happening out there, oh God, help us to understand that there's a different life, a different frequency. That there is a different, yes, expression. There's a different, yes, dimension of, of impression that is happening within this atmosphere called your church, your ecclesia. So help us, Spirit of God, not to be derailed by another sound, by another voice. Yes, the word declares that there are many kinds of voices in the world and none of them are without significance. So we thank you, Lord, that as those voices are significant to whatever is going on out there, this voice that we're hearing from heaven that is shaking everything that can be shaken is the voice that we want to turn to. We want to turn to you. We want to turn to hear it. We want to turn to listen. We want to turn to be part of, yes, a people, a company, journey with you to Jerusalem, oh God. Yes, not just to be part of the crowd, but to meet in the place called the upper room. So we thank you once again this morning, oh God, that you will help our heart to adjust. Uh, if there's still anything in our life that is still hearing the sound of the world, that is still being carried away and being distracted, oh God, by the frivolous attitude of the day, help us, Father, to reconnect to where you want us to be. Because that's where we find rest for our soul. So this morning, as I present myself, as I present my brethren, 
as I present your intention for this glorious day. We pray in the name of Jesus, oh God, that we will be logged in, oh God, that our heart will be dialed into that channel. Yes, where we are hearing the expression, the demand of your spirit, that we will, that we will not be distracted, oh God. So once again, we pray this morning, have your way in our life, Spirit of God. Take your place upon the very throne of our heart. We ask you this morning to come and reign, come sit as you took, yes, the boat of Peter and you sat. We pray this morning that you will sit, oh God. In every dimension of our life, you will sit over, yes, our faculty. You will rule over, yes, our desire, our impressions, our agendas. Everything that our life represents this morning, that you, Father, will be crowned king of them. You'll be crowned king over them. You'll be crowned Lord over them. Have your way this morning. Take your place. Be glorified. Be magnified. Be exalted. We crown you king, Lord Jesus. Holy Spirit, it's your voice that we want to hear. Only your voice will lead us to the place of truth. Only your voice will lead us to the place, yes, of clarity, of direction. Only your voice will bring us to the place where we can indeed find rest for our soul. Only your voice will bring us to the place where we can truly be equipped, be trained, be prepared, become this, that instrument that is worthy, vessels of God that are meet for your use. Only your voice. So Holy Spirit, we turn to you. We yield to you. Help us this morning, O oh God. We present this day to you as a living sacrifice, as we offer ourselves to you as a living sacrifice, because you are the one that have given us this day. We declare that everything is working together, yes, for your intention, for your purpose, for your, for your glory, for your desire, for your design. We proclaim this day dedicated unto you. We dedicate this day unto you. Nothing, oh God, yes, will take us away from your intention, from your plans, from your purposes for this glorious day. Every aspect of this day, every moment, every hour, Lord, that we'll be spending this day, we dedicate to you. We proclaim in the name of Jesus that you alone will be glorified in everything that we say and we do this day. We proclaim Christ, you are crowned over this day, your Lord over this day. So may your power once again lead us. May your spirit lead us. May your word, O oh God, guide us. We receive a word for this glorious day. Yes, Father. Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every proceeding word. Yes, from the mount of God. We wait on that proceeding word this morning. We pray in the name of Jesus that nothing will distract us, O oh God, from that which your spirit is saying. Not what you just said, but what you are saying to the church, what you're saying to the nations, what you're saying to your body, what you're saying, oh God, to the company of them that are tracking your intention for this glorious day. Father, we incline our ears to your voice. Speak to us, Lamb of God. Help us, bring us to the place where we've come, totally come to the end of ourselves. May your day begin in our lives, oh God. May your day begin in our life. May your day begin in our life. May your day begin in our life, oh God. We pray, oh God, this day. We come to the end of ourselves as we embrace the cross. That life once again may burst forth out of us. That we may become indeed carriers of your life. That we may be carriers of your light. That your glory may flow through our life. That we may become instrumental, oh God, of your love and mercy, oh God. That through our life we can indeed express that which you desire to see manifest across the land, across the nation. May your kingdom come into our lives, into our space. May your kingdom come into our homes. May your kingdom come, Lord, into our business, into our ministry. May your kingdom this morning come, Lord, into every nook, nook and cranny of our existence. May your kingdom come into our minds. May your kingdom reign this morning, yes, Father, into our faculties, our thought life. May your kingdom come into our conscience, into our subconscious. May your kingdom this morning reign. We receive this morning the keys of the kingdom to access every dimension, yes, Father, that you have ordained for our life this day. We we pray in Jesus name that we will not be derailed. We will not be distracted. We are focused. We proclaim this morning that you will be glorified in our life. Your will will prosper in our lives. Reign Jesus. Honor and glory to you King of glory. Wash us by the washing of the water through your word. Cleanse us this morning. May we be purified this morning. 
May we become a vessel of honor to you. May we become indeed instrumental, oh God, that you can use. Ah, pour us out this morning, Lord God. Yes, Father. Yes, as a river is poured forth into the nation, pour us out this morning that we may go forth, Lord, as a river for the healings of the nations. We thank you, honor and glory to you, Lamb of God. This morning, we pray, Spirit of the living God, may we be anointed afresh. May we go forth afresh this morning, equip, O oh God, in faith, in the name of Jesus. May we go forth this morning with a deeper measure of grace, in the name of Jesus. May our life this morning express, yes, the mercy that someone needs this morning. May we go out there and be a light, O oh God, in, in the midst of darkness. May we go out there this morning, indeed, and show forth your glory and praise. We declare in the name of Jesus this morning that we will go out this morning and become that living epistle known and read of all men. Father, we pray in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth that no weapon of the enemy formed or fashion against our mind will prosper. Lord, we, we have not given to us this morning the spirit of fear. Therefore we come against every spirit of fear. We come against every spirit of doubt. We come against every spirit of ungodliness. We come against every spirit of insanity. We come against every spirit of poverty in the name of Jesus. Poverty of the mind in the name of Jesus. We declare in Jesus name that we are not bound. The chains are broken. We are moving forward. We are going forward. We thank you, Father, for the manifestation, the outpouring of your spirit. We thank you for the harvest, oh God, yes, Father, that we anticipate for this glorious day. Let your name, let your kingdom come. Let your name be exalted. We bless you, oh God. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord, oh my soul. Bless the Lord, oh my soul, and all that is within me. Glorify his name magnify him in the beauty of his holiness this morning for he is worthy of glory he is worthy of praise our god is worthy he has arisen with a shout have your way this morning you and the ark of your might come lord take your place citadel over every aspect of our being this morning we proclaim lord as we pray in jesus name we open the pathway we open the pathway father for the move of your spirit into this generation oh god as we prepare oh god even the next generation oh god rising up, O oh God, to be carriers, conduit, O oh God, of your intentions in the earth, O oh God, that the enemy will not touch them. We proclaim and we declare this morning that these ones that are coming up, O oh God, they've been procured for your glory. They've been, they've been procured for your glory. They have been proclaimed, O oh God, yes, to carry forth your, your glory and praise in the name of Jesus. We thank you. We honor your holy name this morning. Take your place. The words that we proclaim are words of life. We speak, we speak words of life into the nations this morning. Words of hope, words of peace, words of joy. In the name of Jesus, we proclaim the kingdom of God has come to you, South Africa. The kingdom of God has come to you, yes, the continent of Africa. We decree and we declare this morning that the counsels of God is going forward. A new people are emerging. New leaders are emerging. In the name of Jesus, we thank you, Father, for laborers that you are sending into the field this morning. Equip laborers in the name of Jesus. We proclaim in the name of Jesus there is an awakening. Yes, Father, we declare in Jesus' name that we train, we build up, oh Father, a people that will mount themselves on the ramp, on the wall. In the name of Jesus, intercessors, men that will intercept the counsels of the of darkness and yet will bring forth your, your will and intentions, oh God, into their space. Thank you, Father, for a new order of priests that you're raising in this new day, Father. We bless your holy name. Men and women, oh God, who are not afraid of the verdict of the king. They are rising up because they've heard the voice of the king of kings. We thank you for your lordship, Jesus, over our lives this morning, over our space, over our community. We proclaim your lordship. We proclaim your dominion. We proclaim your kingdom come in the name of Jesus. We thank you right now for breakthrough, breakthrough, breakthrough in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, for a church that is that has been awakening this glorious day, arising and going forth, charging, yes, Father, to the next place, to the next dimension of your intention we thank you no weapon of the enemy can stop this church we bless your holy name that you have brought us to the large place we thank you father we're going forth and we're possessing the land to the glory of your name to the glory of your name father we thank you oh bless the lord we give glory to your name we give praise to your name oh hallelujah bless the lord bless the lord bless the lord our God is arisen with a shout. Our God has arisen with a shout. His name, hallelujah, is holy and is worthy to be praised. He's worthy to be praised. We bless you, Father. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. And amen. Hallelujah. 
Our God is good. His love endures forever. His mercy never fails. They are new every morning. Right, we want to welcome everyone joining us this morning. If you're joining us, wherever you are joining us from, wherever you're connecting from, all right, we want to welcome you this morning. Maybe you are connecting to us, all right, from uh, a different location where you're just basically waking up or you're just about going to bed or maybe it's noonday at your end there. Well, welcome. This is the Potter's Gate. This is the place where we express the mind of God, where we pray, we intercede. It's a place where we go deeper in the things of the Spirit. If you will, it's a place for the remnant, even as we make room for those that are still getting up, that are still waking up, that are still, you you know just beginning to understand the things of the spirit is our prayer that we'll be able to touch everyone all right but our desire is to build you up our desire is to continue to prepare god a vessel instrument that he can use for the expression for the intention for the advancement of his purpose all right particularly for the church and within the nation so if you're here all right this morning you're connected with us where well, you're welcome you can be rest assured that in this place amen you will be you will be informed you'll be transformed all right you will be you'll be reform and of course you'll be restored those are the four core pillars of what we are doing all right we want to inform people we want to transform them amen we want to reform them and we want to restore them back amen to god's divine counsel and intention for their life it is our prayer in this in this community that you will discover you will find the essence of your life all right that you will not just live life and waste amen the time the resources that god has given to you but rather you will use your time era right, to grow to develop to find what god amen has ordained for for you and it's not difficult to find what God has ordained for you if you will start in the place of prayer if you will start to begin to pray all right I'm not just talking about coming with you know with a petition but coming to say God I, I desire your heart I long for you I want you I need you in my life if your heart all right will be connected to the the the, 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 the heart of God the mind of God the intentions of God God will begin to fill your heart with his plans and purpose all right you know the plans and purpose of of God and not something that you can discover by just just by reading the book or by you know you know listening to somebody all those things are good but when you begin to pray I, be, I believe that the place of prayer amen particularly when you begin to you know pray for you know the will of God to be established in your life amen you begin to you begin to hear God speak to you because prayer is a two-way thing when you when you talk to God he talks back to you somebody says how does God talk to me well you've got to first of all realize that you're a spirit being and every every human being that God created, amen, you know, was created with a spirit. In fact, you're a spirit, all right? You're not just created with a spirit. You are created to be spirit. Every other thing is secondary, amen? Your soul is secondary. Your body is secondary, all right? The faculties that derive, that, that drives your life, they're all secondary. But, you know, your, your, your nature, amen, your default expression on earth is that you're a spirit being, meaning that you can hear God. But that doesn't mean that you're hearing him because, all right, there's something called sin, all right? When sin comes into our life, it, it hinders us, amen? It blocks the, 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 the frequency of God, the voice of God in our life. And that's why we need to hate sin. That's why we must shift away from sin because sin will... Will, will, will block amen the voice of god and once the voice of god is blocked in your life guess what you are like you know uh, and headless chicken you're like somebody who is blind roaming around walking around all right you are you are the mercy of every other person out there you understand so it's important that you understand that one of the reasons why we need to exalt righteousness is for god to have his way in our life is for the things of god to be able to flow into our space one of the reasons why we're dealing with the things that we're dealing with today is for the church to return back to the place where we can hear God and hear him, you know, in such a distinction, amen, with such a distinction that we, we know without a shadow of doubt that, hey, God has spoken. And then the boldness, amen, to go out there and represent him, amen, can, you know, can, can, can be effective. So we want to believe God this morning once again that as we engage God's word, amen, that you will come to the place, you will come to the place where you can hear God. And that's why we build a what is called a prophetic school, right? If you if you're if you're part of that school, if you've been part of our prophetic school in the past, you will notice that the things that we we speak about, amen, are things that deals with how your spirit can grow and mature and come to that point, to that place where you are able to know, you are able to hear. All right, this is not about you know God give me a million, God give me a car, God give me a wife, God. No, no, no. Those things, amen. Are, the Bible says they are addition. When you seek the kingdom of God first and his righteousness every other thing amen will be added to you that is a promise 
that is a promise so let's not you know uh, uh, focus on the on the on the on the ma on the excuse me on the minor while the major amen is left amen wandering somewhere all right when we begin to invest into the things of god when we begin to invest into our spiritual development when we begin to invest into amen getting to rediscover who we are our true identity when we begin to discover amen our place amen in the nature of the second man the last adam all right there are two kinds of human beings living today on earth Earth, amen. The, 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 the first man, all right, the, the Bible talk about, you know, the, the, the man, the Adam, the Adam that God created in the garden, amen, he fell. And because of that, you know, that, that fall, amen, every human being on earth inherited a fallen nature. All right, but that's not how God designed man from the beginning. We were created to, to be like God, to hear his voice. Amen. Remember, Adam was created, amen, to, to fellowship with God. But sin came, amen, and sin disrupts. That's what sin does. Sin, when sin comes into our life, it disrupts us from hearing, from knowing the will of God. So everything about man is cascaded into function dysfunctionality. But but Christ came, amen, and begin to restore back, amen, our spiritual life. And that's why the, the scripture says that except a man be born again he cannot see the kingdom of god the first thing that man man lost in the garden all right when when he abdicated his responsibility when when he listened to the devil is that he lost his sight even though the bible says his eyes were open but that in fact means that he lost his spiritual sight his, his, his sight was open to carnality amen to to you know to to the natural way of doing things all right he 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 he, he ate from what the bible called the tree of the knowledge of good and evil all right his life became controlled by his sensuality he, he he lost the sense of his spirituality you understand man lost the sense of spirituality so everything that man wants to do has to has to do with can i feel it can i see it can i touch it if i can't touch it, if i can't see it, if i can't feel it all right if i can't taste it then i don't believe and and that that is that is a dilemma that is where human humanity is today and that's why and that's why people are going to fight God. When you tell them God told you, they say, what God? Who hears God? Where is he? You know, they will do all kinds of things to, to want to frustrate amen, that sense of spirituality. Of course, man cannot understand. The Bible says the fool is a fool that says in his heart that there is no God, meaning that spiritual things are not real. But yet, the man that God created was created to be a spiritual being, not a soulish being, amen, not a sensual being, not a, not, not a material being, amen, is a spiritual being that is housed amen by by a material by a material realm and that's why i keep saying that when you talk about spirituality it's important we understand amen you know uh, uh the material the material dimension of spirituality everything that you can touch that you can see that you can feel amen all came from and god said there is nothing that you can see today that did not come amen from the voice of god amen and that is not being upheld by the voice of god but when you put your hope and your trust in just material things you miss destiny and that's why, amen, you cannot put your trust in the words of men. You can't put your trust, amen, in the promises of men. No, you can't do that. If you do that, you've abdicated your destiny, all right? So it's important that we understand that the days that we live in is a day of spiritual awakening. God is awakening our spirit, our spirit that has been fast asleep, long fast asleep. Heaven is awakening. We are hearing a sound, and that sound is still like it's coming from a distance, but there is an awakening, hallelujah. And very soon, we are going to be fully awake and when we are awake david says i will be like him i will be awake in your likeness i will be awake in your likeness so we've got to understand that while this thing may sound elementary but they're very profound they're very profound if we're going to engage the nature of the days heaven is bringing us into if we're going to become you know spiritually you know aware if we're going to be spiritually amen you know prepare equip amen we have to begin from that position where our spirit man amen is alive where our spirit you see when you can pray it speaks into amen the the the, the, the slumbering the attitude of your spirit when you cannot do the things that you read in the word of god when your life amen is when you're struggling with the things of god when you're struggling with all right you know forgiving when you're struggling with pride when you're sub struggling with you know hatred unforgiveness when you're struggling with you know you know uh, uh, you know the voice of god god says you must do something but you're struggling that is because amen your spirit is is, is weak your spirit amen a, a strong spirit hallelujah respond david said once you have spoken twice i've heard 
spirit. That, that is a reflection of a strong spirit. Our spirit needs to be strong and to, to develop a strong spirit. Of course, first of all, you have to give your heart to the Lord. All right? I'm not talking about going to church. I'm not just talking about all right, being part of some group. I'm not talking about all of those things. That, no, no. I'm talking about truly you engaging God in your spirit. Amen. He comes. He lives in you. All right? That's what it means to give your life to Jesus. It means that amen. he now owns your life. He now owns you. Amen. He, he, now, he now has the authority like I was sharing yesterday in, he, the, in the book of Luke chapter, you know, chapter 5 in verse 4, you know, the, the 5, 6, the, the Bible says Jesus, you know, saw two boats. Amen. One was that of Peter. He stepped into the boat of Peter and he sat there. I just love that word. He sat there. And he said to Peter, "All right, you know, launch out. Okay, I need to, I need to teach the pre teach the people. All right, when Christ comes into your life, he must sit, he must reside. All right, he, he mustn't just be invited. Amen. While you are still in control, while you are still in charge, that's not going to work. If we're going to, Amen, be, be be in that position where God can use us, Amen, where His Spirit, Amen, can really move us, Amen, to do great things for Him in this last day, He must, He must take over every aspect of our life, our thought, our faculty." Culty, amen our desire our intentions amen our agendas amen must be his agenda everything that we stand for and represent amen he must it must be because of him you mustn't be living half of your life for yourself and one for you know god knows what amen you mustn't be living one you know quarter of your life for god and the rest you know for something else i'm talking about a people who want to be full of god want to be full of God, full of his ways, full of his desire, full of, full of his intention. We want to be consumed by him because those are the people that God really used. Well, I'm, I'm talking about, you know, being, being part of a, a catalyst, a movement, amen, a people that God is using as arrowhead to bring a change to a generation, to a nation, amen. I'm not just talking about the God blessing you. I mean, God can bless you. There's no, there's no doubt about that. God blesses even people who are not, you know, are not following him. Bible says he reigns his, his, his blessing on the just and the unjust amen the, when the sun shines in in the in the morning all right the, the sun doesn't just shine in one place and say oh well these are the righteous people so I'll, I'll shine on them then the ones all right who are unrighteous will leave them in darkness or when the rain falls all right the rain doesn't fall on the just amen alone but it rain it, it rains on on the just and the unjust that is god's for you but we cannot take that for, for granted we have to leave the realm of just blessing and begin to enter into a day of inheritance there's an inheritance awaiting the people there is an inheritance awaiting the people who have committed who have yielded themselves who have offered their, their life who have said god this is all of me i lay it on the altar hallelujah i'm giving you everything that i am everything that amen i represent after all you own it all i'm giving them back to you i want you to use me when god begins to hear such prayer when god begins you see god god is interested in your prayer how you pray amen god is interested amen in the things you see in your prayer all right the, the days when we bring a list you know to god all right these are my list no you've got to come and say god i'm laying down my life on the altar all right i'm not just coming with a list i'm not just coming with you know god bless me give me this give me that listen to this i'm telling you even those who are not praying god is blessing them all right because god has seen their future he know that someday they will come to realize so blessing is never an issue to god if if your if your measurement of serving god is blessing then you miss you miss the whole purpose of god all right because unbelievers get blessed you understand Understand? that wicked man gets blessed <laughs> you understand yes that is god for you but if you begin to understand that there is a dimension of a life beyond blessing after all the children of israel in the back back in the wilderness amen god was bl blessing them amen even though they were in rebellion but at the end of the day the bible says they did not enter the promised land you've got to understand that there's an inheritance that is awaiting you you've got to understand that there is something amen that you've got to lay hold of there is something you've got to procure there is something you've got to lay hold on amen Amen. You know, it was Paul who says, Amen. He says, He says, He says that I may apprehend the very reason of, 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 of why I've been apprehended. He wants to apprehend, he wants to come into, he wants to know the reason why God apprehended him. There's an inheritance. The Bible says that God Himself wants to inherit in us. Hallelujah. There is something the Father wants to possess. He is deposited Himself in us. There is something God, Amen, has placed in you, Amen. That He's expecting that you will wake up to realize so that His intention, His plans 
and his purpose, hallelujah, can be fast track in the earth. And I hope this morning, amen, that as you hear this elementary truth, amen, that indeed it will, it will, it will, it will, it will awaken you, amen, to begin to reposition yourself, to begin to realign yourself, to begin to come to a day and where you can begin to say, Lord, I have been pursuing all kinds of things, but this is the time to pursue you. I want to be a God's chaser. I want to be a God chaser. I want to chase you. I want to chase your heart. I want to chase your intention. This is my prayer when I began to understand the ways of God. I lay aside every other request. You know, I lay aside every other, you know, issue. I, I just say, God, I just want all of you. I want you to feel me. I need you more than ever before. Every day I, I cry out, God, feel me. Feel me with, you, with your life, with your presence, with your glory. I just want to know you more. I want to know you more. I need you more than yesterday. I quest for you. I long for you. And when you begin to pray that prayer, you begin to have what I call the proximity of God. God begins to come closer to you. You see, the way you pray, amen, will determine how close God is going to be to you. The way you pray, amen. Yes, God will answer our prayer, but not all prayer, amen. Indeed, pleases him. There are certain prayers we pray that God look and say, oh, um, you, you're still, you, you're not there yet. But when you begin to pray, amen, and say, God, I need you more than yesterday. I need you, amen, more than life itself. I need you more than my daily food. I need you. Listen to my prayer. I need you more than my daily food. I need you more than my children. I need you more than, amen, my wife. I need you more than my husband. I need you more than the ministry. I need you more than the world. I need you more than the wealth of this world. You are everything to me. I, and when you say, when you pray those prayer, amen, genuinely, I'm not talking about just verbalizing. I'm not talking about just saying them. I'm talking about you meaning what you say. You mean, you mean so much to me, Lord. You mean more than life, more than life to me, Lord. You mean more than the wealth of this world to me. You are all that I need. You are my desire. You are my home. You are my eternal hope. It's in you, Lord, that I find refuge. I find strength in you. I find peace in you. I, I, I am at home in you, God. Have your way in my life. I bring me to the end of myself so that your day can begin in me. Bring me to the end of my ways so that your ways can begin in me. I need you to fill me. I want to be baptized by you. Fill me with your spirit. Fill me with your goodness. Fill me with your love. Fill me with compassion. Help me, Lord. Bring me to the end of pride. May righteousness begin in my life. Bring me to the place of truth, O oh God. Plant me, O oh God. Yes, Lord, at the streams of your river, of your word, O oh God. May your will, may your counsel find expression in my life. When you begin to pray like this, open my eyes to your word. Break, break the, break, break, break the seal, O oh God. Open my, I remove the cataracts and the glaucomas in my eyes. Remove the scale, let them fall. I want to see. Open my eyes to your word. When I read your word, open my eyes. Bring me to the depth. Show me your ways. Show me your glory. I need you more than yesterday. I cry out for you, Father. I desire you. I long for you. My soul longs for you. I thirst for you. You are my hope. You are my destiny. You are my eternal hope. You are my joy, my peace. When you begin to pray like this, my friend, things will begin to happen in your life. Heaven will burst forth into your space. <laughs> All by yourself, you will have a revival. All by yourself, you will have an awakening. All by yourself, you will be lit up. And it is that light you will carry out to the world. <laughs> people, will see, people will see fire, hallelujah, you know, on, on, on your head. Uh, you will attract people. Why? Because you've attracted God. I say you will attract people because you've attracted God. This is the day where God, amen, is pouring himself out again. And the people who can really find, amen, a place in his presence at his altar. Uh, you know, they, 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 they say, they, 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 they say amen, uh, you know, the, the, the sparrow has found a place to lay a young at the, at the altar of God. The sparrow has found a place uh, to lay a young a sparrow has found a place to lay a young yes at the at the altar of god when you begin to learn from the sparrow you say lord i want to find a place i want i may give me a place among them who have a standing before you lord call me show me help me to stand give me proximity oh god help me to have yes a standing before you i want to i want to please you i want to please you when God begins to hear your prayer, I, I need you. 
I, I desire you. Guess what? Heaven will begin to, yes, refine you. And, and, and they will separate you from among men. Yes, many are called, but few are chosen. The few that are chosen is because they wanted to go the extra mile. They wanted to go the extra mile. The few that are chosen, amen, are they that carried, amen, the midnight oil. They know that something, there may be a delay. So they've carried an extra oil, amen. Their oil is still virgin. It's called the virgin oil, amen. Their, their garments have not been stained. They are crying out. They say, these are the ones that follow the lamp wheresoever he goeth. For their garments are not stained. Your heart is questing and longing and panting after God. God will be moving through your life. You will not even realize it. Things will be happening around you. You won't even know it. People are still saying, wow, people, miracle is taking place. Somebody just got, God, God, you are, you, all your sin is him. You, you, you become like Enoch. You're walking with God. As you're walking with God, you are living the, you are leaving the trails of God behind. As you're walking with God, you are leaving his glory behind. you you as you're walking with him, the Bible says, as, as Peter walked, amen, his shadow was healing people. A man was so full of God. He, he was casting shadows. The shadows of God was falling upon men. People were rising up. Dead people were rising. Healing was taking place just by his shadow, the shadow of Peter. Why? Because he has, he's full of light. When you're full of light, you will cast shadow that will heal the nations. That is what our generation needs. I'm telling you, friends, we have to anticipate. Amen. We have to anticipate the harvest that is coming. Harvest doesn't come because we, we declare it. No. Uh, people must posture themselves like Elijah. You must posture yourself on that mountain. You've got to engage. Amen. The God of heaven. You have to pray. You have to crawl upon the name of the Lord. You have to seek the Lord. I, as a scripture I want us to track this morning. I'll have a few minutes that, that is left. Amen. Before we, before we are done this morning. You know the Bible talk about Jotam. Jotam. Second Chronicles you know, 20, you know, 27. The Bible says that Jotam prepared his way before the Lord. Look at the scripture quickly. Jotam prepared his way before the Lord. It is important that we, we know we learn how to prepare our way before the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Lebra gazada brane muso. Lebre gazantola brane masada brana. Jotam. You know, I, I hear people say, well, this thing you're talking about, we don't understand. How do we prepare ourselves? What is coming ahead? We don't know it. Well, nobody knows what is coming. I've always said that. But guess what? Because we have a prophetic insight, because we have a kind of insight into amen, what is coming. I mean, if you're prophetic, that's why this is, this is the whole essence of being prophetic. All right. When you begin to when you begin to seek the Lord, heaven will begin to tell you things. Heaven will begin to reveal things to you. They will show you, amen. The Bible says the Spirit of God will tell you of things yet to come. Yes. So when the Holy Spirit begins to speak to your heart, you begin to align yourself. Remember, we're dealing with amen, the days of the apostolic spirit. And we and, and we saw that in chapter one of Acts that the first thing that the you know the, the, the disciples you know did was that they gathered in the place called the upper room. That was the point, that's a place of preparation. I told you preparation begins in the place of prayer. It begins in the place of prayer, and prayer must be defined, amen, as amen, a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with God. A heart-to-heart -heart conversation with God. When your heart, amen, is connected, is logged on to God, amen. Not you bringing a list to God, not you preempting what you want God to do or say. No, you come with your heart. Don't just come with the voice. Don't just come with a with the word. Come with a heart first. When you come with the right heart, amen, your mouth will say the right thing, and God will respond. That is the place where, amen, the things of God are, are birthed and initiated. Yes. Jotam was 25 years old when he became a king. He reigned in Jerusalem 16 years. All right? And then the, the, the scripture went further. I'm going to quickly open to that point now. The Bible says Jotam prepared his way before the Lord. This, this translation says, Jot Jotam grew powerful 
and became a man. Jotham grew powerful because he walked steadfastly before the Lord. This is what this NIV translation says. But there's a translation, of course, the, 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 the King James translation says, Joseph, excuse me, Jotham, amen, prepared. Jotham became powerful. It became strong. In fact, that's the word. It says Jotham became strong. It became strong. Why? Because he prepared his way before the Lord. You see, you have to, you see, preparing your way is a deliberate action, amen, to do, to follow, amen, to listen, to apply, amen, what God has said, amen, to choose the values of God rather than your values, amen, to choose the ways of God rather than the ways of the popular opinion, amen, you decide, amen, that you're going to obey God. Jotam, remember, he's a king. But Jotam came to a position, he realized, he studied, he saw how other kings failed. The Bible says, and Jotam became strong because, you see, the because is the deliberate action. Because, amen, he prepared. How do you prepare your way before the Lord? As a king, as a businessman, as a businesswoman, amen, as a leader in the church, as an, as an apostle, as a prophet. How do you prepare your way? To prepare your way means, first of all, to remove yourself from your own ways. <laughs> to remove yourself from your own ways, from your own idea. Not my will, but your will be done in my life. You have to come to that point. You have to come to that point, to that place, amen, where you lay aside. They may sound good, they may sound right. They may sound intelligent. Like I said, these are days where we are so full of our intelligence. Intelligence that are not coming from the frequency of the spirit will only lead you to error. Will lead you to, you know, it's a day where people are, are, are depending more on their own ideas, on the opinions of men. What, 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 what is the weatherman saying? What is, what is the news saying? All right. What is going on regarding the corona? What are they saying? What's, what's up with the vaccine? All, all kinds of things that we are investing our mind and our thought to that will amen, drain us. And the more, the more you, you listen to those news, remember I listen to news, but I'm saying that we cannot afford to depend on these things that we know many of them in fact are all fabricated you know wrong news all kinds of you know news today and all this this information are geared amen to lure us to 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 bring us to the place where we are fearful they are creating all kinds of fear in the atmosphere and people are falling into it but when you start preparing your way before the lord you start living by faith you start you know when you wake up in the morning the first thing you do is not turn into facebook uh, to want to hear what Isaiah is saying, even though Isaiah is saying what the Lord is saying, amen. But first of all, you must talk to your maker so, because when you talk to your maker, when you read what Isaiah is saying, it becomes a confirmation. Ah, God spoke that to me this morning while I was praying. God told me that this morning while I was praying. So I'm there to confirm, I'm there to affirm, hallelujah, and to give direction and leading. Yes. So it's important. Don't just depend on what Isaiah is saying. Isaiah must come to confirm and affirm. All right, you you don't just wake up in the morning. You got to make that amen a deliberate action. That when you wake up in the morning, the first thing you do is turn to your Maker. You turn to your channel, amen. You on the you on the channel of the Spirit, amen. And you tune to that frequency. You turn to that frequency of heaven. You let God speak to you. You let the mind of God, the will of God, amen, have His way in your life. Jotam prepared His way before the Lord. He became strong, and he became a mighty man. Undefeated, he prospered. Some translations say because Jotam prepared his way before the Lord, he prospered. He became a successful king. How is it going to be with you, friends, this morning? As I round up this morning, I want to ask you, how is it going to be? Are you going to prepare your way? Or are you just going to allow anything to fall? Are you just going to allow any situation to define and determine? You know, you just flow with the wind. You have to be, you have to be, you have to be intentional in the things of God. You have to be intentional. When you, when you decide, when you make up your mind to do certain things, don't look for the weather. Do it. When you make a promise, hallelujah, I'm going to do X, Y, Z. Do it because, hallelujah, you have determined, you've prepared your way. It's a, it's a right thing. If it's a right thing, you don't wake up the next day and say, well, am I supposed to do that? No, you have decided. God does not use people who are indecisive. A double-minded person cannot receive anything, amen, in the sight of the Lord. That's the scripture. A double-minded person will not receive anything 
in the sight of the Lord. That's James. We have to become people, amen, who are deliberate. We have to be decisive, amen. We have to be intentional. You see, if you're not intentional, you're not going to do the things of God. I wake up in intentionally. I say, when I wake up, no, I don't check my phone. Then when I wake up, the first thing, I talk to my maker. Then whatever he says to me, then I, I proclaim it there. I bounce it out there, amen. Yes, because that's the, 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 there's a tendency that we, we want to shift away from the place of the spirit and we begin to depend, you know. I've got a lot of people following me, so I've got something I must tell them. What do I have to say to you? What do I have to offer to you if heaven has not given me a word? What, what can I give if heaven have not spoken? What do you want to do? Which walk are you going to? Amen. When heaven has not given you strength for the day. Come on. You're going to leave complaining. You're going to leave fighting. You're going to leave in all kinds of frustration. Why? Because you have not engaged heaven. You wake up in the morning. People don't pray. They just get up, get into the shower, and all they all are they on their way to walk. No wonder things go crazy. You learn, hallelujah, to live your life in the ambience of the presence of God. That is how we track the things of the Spirit. That is how we journey with God, amen. That is how we, we engage the things of the Spirit, amen. We live our life being committed to the things of the Spirit, hallelujah. We live our life being committed to the ways of the Spirit. We live our life being dedicated. And listen to this, the things of the Spirit does not happen like this. You have to build it. You have to, you have to build it. You have to amen, encourage yourself daily. You have to bring yourself daily to the altar. Amen. That, like that lamb amen, being brought to the slaughtering ground. You have to daily offer yourself. Lord, I, I offer my life this day to you as a living sacrifice. Holy and acceptable. Make yourself acceptable before the Lord. Make sure you are bringing a, a worthy lamb. A clean lamb. Not a lame lamb. Amen. You are giving to God what he deserves what he deserves you know what he deserves he said can you give your governors this thing don't give god amen half of your time don't give god amen just some tiny weenie of your time just to appease your soul that well after all i prayed but you know that you did not pray you know that you did not hear god you know that you didn't touch why because you only had five minutes to pray you only have 10 minutes uh, hallelujah praise god thank you jesus some people don't even have five minutes they have two minutes just to appease your soul well i pray to god no you didn't you're just basically appeasing your soul. When you pray and you touch God, you will know. Every part of you will feel that, yes, you're ready for the day. Hallelujah. So friends, as we get ourselves prepared for this glorious day, I want to encourage you. We're tracking something. We are anticipating, amen, the move of God for our day, for this generation. And we can see, amen, that indeed that we are at the twilight of that, of that great move. People are picking the signals of the Spirit. And every, every, every man, every woman must understand their role and their part. I've been talking about that, amen. The Bible says 120 people gathered in the upper room. Each of those 120, amen, had something unique. Jesus caught 120 fish. Jesus caught, amen, 120 fish, amen, and 120 fish were in the upper room. These were selected people, amen, deliberately selected, amen, to be part of a company that will break forth, that will do something new in the day where people are coming for a religious gathering. There is another group of people, amen, called, amen, the upper room dimension, amen. It's from there that, the, I mean, there were many houses in Jerusalem, but the Spirit of God fell on one house. Your house can be that place where, amen, heaven can, can flow into the glory of God, the power of God, the presence of God. Listen, a move of God can begin in a church. A move of God that will, that will lit a whole nation can begin in a house. <laughs> you didn't hear me? And you know that in the house there is one head. There is one priest. So you can become a priest, amen, that can steer, that can spark the fire of God's move. I'm, a, I'm sounding like an evangelist. No, I'm not. But I've got the fire of God. There's something in me, amen, that is burning, amen, to want to see God move. Because when God moves, every other thing, hallelujah, begin to align. Government will align, amen. The, 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 the world of, of, of science will align, amen. You know, people in society will align. Every time God moves, there is always advancement. There is productivity, amen. There is maturity, amen. There is, there is joy in the land, amen. There is transformation. The move of God is for our good. 
Of course, the enemy will fight it because the enemy, amen, wants to keep the people sad, wants to keep the people in darkness. The enemy thrives, amen, in, 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 in evil. It thrives when there is when there is sickness, disease, infirmity. He rejoices when amen. People are dying. Hallelujah. But when God start moving, amen. Dead people are come are, are, are raised to life, amen. People that are sick in hospital suddenly they get up. That is what the devil doesn't want to see. But we have to, amen. Pray and seek God for his move because we want people, amen, to be free. If you love people, you pray for the move of God. Because when God moves, amen, your home, your family, your uncle will get delivered, amen, from that from that bondage of alcohol. When God starts moving, amen, that person, amen, you know, bound in crack cocaine will be free, amen. That person chained, amen, with ungodliness suddenly will be free. Because when the God starts moving, very little is needed of human strength. You see why we've got to invest, amen, in a church, amen, that is ready to break forth, to bring forth the intentions of God. We want to see the move of God. I want to see the move of God break forth, amen, from this nation. The, a prophetic word has gone forth for years that we've been tracking for for decades. That God is going to do something, amen, from Cape Town, amen, that will reach Cairo, that will reach the ends of the world. But guess what? It's not going to start by accident. It's not going to start because, oh, they gave a prophetic word we've got to take that word amen and begin to war with it we've got to take that word amen and begin to and begin to fight in the spirit and begin to call call forth amen what god has already they said they said the prophecy that has gone forth over your life you've got to you've got to steer it you've got to you got to war with it you've got to steer the fire or else it's just going to be there because there's an enemy who understands spiritual things. He wants to stop you. He wants to hinder you. Hallelujah. If you continue to look at things from the natural realm, they say from the days the father fell asleep, everything has been the same. Everything has been the same. That is what the people said. They said from the days the father have slept, nothing has changed. Hey, there is a change taking place in the spirit. If you can open your eyes, if you allow God to touch your eyes, you're going to be seeing things. And that's what I want you to come into. I want you to begin to see things changing for your life, for your society, for your community. All those areas, amen, in this Western Cape that are drug reading, all right, that have been captured, all right, by, 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 by terrorism, amen. Terrorism, I mean, I'm talking about, in, in, you know, interior terrorism. I'm talking about a place where even, even, even government, police can go there. The police cannot police them. They dare not go there. Gangsta have taken over. But when God start moving, you will see, amen, you will see, you know, you know, gang members, you will see their, their boss, everyone bowing the knees. Why? Because when God moves, God moves from above. It comes down. La mama. That's why we must pray. His kingdom come. His, his kingdom come. Let his kingdom come. God, may your kingdom come over Western Cape. May your kingdom come, Lord. Invade every household. Invade every street. Invade every man, every woman. Invade their soul. Invade their mind. Invade as you're moving right now across the globe. We pray that your move will be felt here. That's what we're talking about, friends. When God start moving over your household, your father will be touched by God. Your mother will be touched by God. No matter how, how, how evil they think they are, when God start moving, they, nobody can stand the power of God. Nobody can stand, amen, when God start moving. Nobody can stand, amen, in the way of the wave of God. I say nobody can stand, amen, in the way of the wave of God. When the wave of God start moving, I tell you, you better give way. You better give way. Because like a wind, it will blow you out of the way. God, when God starts moving, it shakes what men call foundation. It shakes what men call, amen, you know, wisdom. It shakes what men call, amen, stability. When God starts moving, you cannot resist his move. And God will move through his spirit. And his word, hallelujah, will become imprinted in the heart of men. I've seen the move of God. I have seen. I've been part of the move of God, friends. I have been part of the move of God. I have seen the move of God. But guess what? We, are not, we have not seen anything yet. What God wants to do in our day is more than what we can comprehend. What God wants to do in our time is more than what, amen, any, any, any church has seen as a move. God wants to do beyond what we saw in the book of Acts. In the book of Acts, amen, that was just what we read in the book of Acts. What we are reading, what we are referencing, of course, the word 
word of God is our reference. But, but this reference, amen, is just the foundation. We are heading towards what the Bible calls the harvest is the end of the age. Are we ready for this harvest? Are we ready for the harvest that is about to break forth? Are we ready for what God wants to do? Our people must be prepared. And that's what I've been doing. I'm trying to prepare you. I'm trying to prepare you. I'm trying to align you. I'm trying to amen, bring you to a point, to a place where you understand <laughs> that God amen, is about to shake everything that we, we ever held on to, we ever trusted. God is about to pour himself. He said, in the last day, I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. Your sons and your daughters will prophesy. Your old men will dream dreams upon your maids, your maid servant, and, and, and everyone. He says, in that day, I will pour out myself, my spirit. Are you ready? If you don't anticipate it, you will not receive If you're not waiting, if you're not seeking, you're not, you're not going to find. It is those who seek, amen, that finds. It is those who knock, the doors are open unto. If you're not seeking, if, you, if, you, if you're not anticipating the Lord to come in, to come into your space, to come into your life, to come into your home, to come into your marriage, into your relationship, it's not going to come. It is those who seek him diligently with all their heart, not with some of their heart, that finds him. The things of God are not cheap. Salvation is free, but the things of God are not cheap. You have to invest your day, your time. You have to quest. You have to long for. You have to pray like as if it's, it's, it's your last prayer. Yes. I want you, Father, more than ever before. I need you more than life itself. My heart quests for you. I long for you. I pant for you. I yearn for you. Fill me, Lord. I need you more than yesterday. Fill me, Lord. I need you. I, I desire. The, your hunger is what defines your anticipation. Your hunger, your hunger for God is what defines your anticipation. Yes, I told you, you have to be deliberate about this thing. You have to be intentional about it. You have to be intentional about the things of God. Hallelujah. You posture yourself like a watchman, amen, who is waiting, amen, for the morning to break forth. You position yourself, hallelujah. You're crying, you're seeking, you're waiting. You're anticipating the breaking of a new day. God is moving. Father, we thank you. We honor you this morning, O oh God. We anticipate your move, O oh God. It's a glorious day. It's a day of your kingdom. Your kingdom is coming. We're hearing the footsteps of your coming. We prepare our heart, O oh God. As Jotam prepared his heart, we prepare our way, O oh God, before you. It's a brand new day, Father. We open up to you. Do as you desire. In every life, in every house, every domain, may your spirit feel, O oh God. May your spirit feel, O oh God. May your name, O oh God, be hallowed once again on the lips of the mighty. Yes, big fish you told us yesterday. We want, to, we want to fish in deep waters. Oh, Spirit of the Lord. Have your way. Take your place. Be exalted in your word. May your truth, your counsel, your wisdom be established. Honor and glory to you, Lamb of God. Thank you, Father, for this glorious day. Thank you for your will. Thank you, Father, for your mind. We bless your name. Hallelujah. La brova no sobrede. Le gaba sondo roboye kalabaha. Le gambra no sondo raba shikeyanda. Megan zobrano sande brahato cambre de ve. Le brigizanta braveno sobra vale gabahanto robo. May you receive this day the touch of the move of God. May you become this day an instrument of the move of God. May the spirit of life awaken every dimension of your life. May the 
power of God fall upon you like never before. May you feel the awakening of the mighty hand of God upon your life. May you walk this day and cast shadows. May you may your shadow heal somebody this day. May the truth of God in you begin to burn like fire shut up in your bones. I pray this day may you quest for God. May there be a hunger for God that will take your sleep. And Heaven is looking for laborers. Laborers, laborers, people who can labor in this presence. People who can labor in his presence. People who can labor in his word. People who can labor, yes, within that which he's proclaiming and declaring for this prophetic day. Hambra gozipahatayanda. Depaka subravandi brayanda. Lebaba. May the heavens be open upon you in the name of Jesus. Gambra asi pregetando baroba casebre ande beliando. Negidisu brevene capantum breveli and alabrono. Yes, yes. So shall it be. The words that have gone out of my mouth shall not return to me void, empty. No, but the word shall accomplish everything that I've ordained and designed it for. Your life this day becomes the expression of the release of God's word in the name of Jesus. I declare this morning that you will go forth in the power of this word. This word will direct you. This word, yes, will instruct you. This word will lead you and guide you. This word will elevate you. This word, yes, in the name of Jesus. Jesus will bring you to the place that is called broad. This word in the name of Jesus, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceed. I declare this morning, you receive the imprint of the proceeding word. Your life in the name of Jesus becomes indeed a living epistle known and read of all men. Men will not be able to gainsay your wisdom because they could not gainsay the wisdom of Jesus and Stephen. I declare this day, may heaven infuse you, yes, with the wisdom of above with the wisdom that comes from above may heaven imprint knowledge the knowledge of the holy one may this day bring you to the place of rest and trust of peace and tranquility may you walk in abundance may you walk in, in goodness may you walk in mercy may righteousness continue to guide you may you have a standing before the Lord in the name of Jesus may you begin to walk in a different frequency of the prophetic. I declare your spirit is awakened this morning. You hear the voice of him. You are led by him. You are instructed by him. May the Holy Spirit be your best friend. In the name of Jesus, I say may the Holy Spirit be your best friend in this glorious day. May they give to you the hidden manna. May they give to you the keys of David. May they give to you the keys of the kingdom. Go forth this morning in the power of God. Go conquer Babylon. Go conquer Babylon. Go root out Egypt. Go deliver a people in bondage. Set them free. Bring them into liberty. Jotam prepare his way. Prepare your way before the Lord this morning and see God move on your behalf. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Father, we thank you. Come on, friends. Let's give glory for our glorious day. Yes, we're in, the, we're in the midst of a move of God. This is how it began in the early 90s. The more, the, when God moved, I would think, wow, can there, be, can there be another move better than this? The next day, it's like God takes you deeper. And then the third day is like God takes you deep, deeper. When you think, well, you've prayed all the prayer you can pray. You've, you've, you've pressed in. Suddenly, there is a deeper call. They said the deep is calling to the deep. That's what I'm picking my spirit. The deep will begin to call to the deep like the noise. Like the noise of many waters. There's a depth. Ha, come with me to the depth. Come on. Come with me. The woman sat on the well. She taught man that about. She has, dra she has drank from the deepest water until she met the well sitting on the well. Ha, ha. He said, if only you know the gift of God. If only you know the gift of God and you would have asked him and he would have given to you the living water. It's time to give the nation living water. It's time to give community the living water. It's time to give amen, the church the living water. If only you know the gift of God, you will ask him and he will give to you the living water. <laughs> the church have given water to men to such a level that people are still thirsty. It's time. It's time to give the people living water. 
living water ha 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 living water come on nema sahata kakombre hekalaba father out of your belly shall flow rivers of living water come on touch your belly rivers of living water let it flow let your word become water of life you know have you have you have you have you have you experienced that point where you you, you, you know on a hot day on a sunny hot day you understand and somebody gives you a glass of water the, you, you you know that feeling of refreshing huh? you know that, that that feeling of suddenly you just have this cold calmness that's what the lord does in your life that's what the lord does through your life that's what you're going to do to somebody this morning this day mom in the hot weather in the sun burning out there you're going to become a living water to them in the name of jesus i prophesy into your life you're an instrument a minister of the gospel a minister of the new testament receive the infusing yes of the apostolic spirit is this is the day of the apostolos this is the day hallelujah of the move of god it is the day of the reign of christ upon mortal men it's time to carry god to your office it's time to carry the presence of god to your space it's time yes that when you walk on the street the, the presence of god in you will attract them to you and you will show them god if I be lifted, I would draw all men. That is the key to revival. That is the key to awakening. When you're full of God, you will you would draw people. You would draw them to him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Honor and glory to you this morning, Lamb of God. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father, for what you're doing. Thank you for supply. Thank you for supply over my household thank you for supply over this ministry thank you father give us resources ah, father i quest for resources to take this word to take this this grace to the ends of the earth from this place oh god resource us oh god make a way for us break the barriers of limitation oh god remove the barriers of limitation as a quest for you oh god Oh, hallelujah. You're blessed. You're blessed. You are mightily blessed. Go out there this morning and show forth the glory of God. Go out there this morning and show forth the praise of God. Forget, don't forget. You have to anticipate this thing. You have to desire it. You have to, you have to be waiting like, like Simeon. The move can break forth anytime. <laughs> yeah, like Simeon, you, you have to be, you, you have to be ready. It, the child can come anytime. You be, if somebody is pregnant, that, that baby can come anytime. You're anticipating, you're prepared, your bag is prepared, you travel light. When you want to be part of the move of God, you travel light. You don't get distracted by non-entities, by mundane things, by, by fleshy kind of people. No, you stay away from them. They will pollute you. They will drain you. La Baba, Supravalembrano, Gaba, Sabrano. May God bring people that will, that will, that will steer your fire as friends into your space. People that will steer you up, may, they, may God bring them into your space. People will drain you, may God send them away. We are building, we can't come down. That's what Nehemiah said. They said they are coming to kill you. Uh, he said no. We are building, we can't come down. Hallelujah. Thank you so much everyone. Wow, I see Sister, Sister Myrtle, finally you made it. <laughs> <laughs> finally you made it to to youtube nice to have you nice to have you my dear sister thank you everyone thank you uh sister sister tina all right thank you for joining this morning we appreciate everyone that has joined us this morning if you're there joining us people must find a way of connecting with us all right welcome welcome everyone we want to bless the lord amen for what god is doing we want more people to join us please share this link tell people what god is doing amen we 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 want to we want to maximize this space as we believe god amen to give us our own platform where we can broadcast some things all right that cannot be restricted so uh we, we believe in god please continue to pray for us continue to pray for me continue to 
pray for this platform. It's a platform that is going to bring a great change, amen, to this, to this season, amen, to this generation. We, 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 we are poised for great things. We anticipate a powerful move of God, amen, in our day. And we'll continue to, to, to build as, 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 as people who are in the evangelic, evangelistic grace are doing their work across the world, we'll continue to support them. But our work is to prepare a church, is to prepare a people, amen, that will align those that are being saved and those that are being returned back, amen, to the household to find a place of peace and refuge, a place where they can grow and carry out God's intention. So thank you everyone this morning once again for joining us. Of course, this is the Potter's Gate. God bless you. Enjoy the rest of your day. Bye-bye.